Uncanny X-Men 184. Val Cooper and Raven Darkhome visit Eagle Plaza in Dallas. Val is wowed by Forge's penthouse, but Naze interrupts them and leaves in a huff after fighting with Forge. Forge greets the ladies and he takes them to his lab, where he shows Val his power neutralizer and mutant scanner. Rachel Summers watches the X-Men on the news and wonders why she can't recognize Storm. She scuffs down the street and is sensed by Celine, who wants to make Rachel her protege. Rachel gets spooked by a fire truck and Celine strikes, but Rachel fights back and runs off into a club. She falls down and is overwhelmed by all the party people's thoughts. The bouncer tries to kick her out, but Nick, the club owner, sees that Rachel needs help and he takes her back to his loft. She enjoys some orange juice and a hot bath, but gets worried when she can't sense Nick. She investigates and finds him dead. Celine reveals herself and ties Rachel up, but Rachel fights back. The two mutants fight and cause some gas lines to explode. Celine gets the best of Rachel, but Xavier and the X-Men show up to even out the odds. Celine chokes out Nightcrawler and tries to absorb Rogue's life, but Xavier hits her with a cybolt and Celine retreats. Safe outside, Rachel sees these aren't the X-Men she knows and she faints after realizing she's been brought back to the wrong past.